Hi there. In today's video, I wanted to make a soup, and it's called the Change of Season Soup. It is based on traditional Chinese medicine, and all the ingredients in it have been shown for centuries to help with the change of seasons and the conditions that are associated with that. So that includes colds and flus. And right now, I don't know if you can hear from my voice, but I do have a cold coming on. And I wanted to make this soup to help to fight it off and for immune, my immune system to be, I guess, more well equipped to deal with this cold. And then hopefully it doesn't turn into anything too much worse. So this is just a tablecloth that's been in my house for a long time. We're going to be sitting all the ingredients that we need on here today. So this is astragalus. In Mandarin, it's known as Huangqi. And astragalus is used to treat upper respiratory infections and the common cold and this has been demonstrated in many Chinese clinical studies it helps to strengthen the immune system by increasing the production of blood cells and is also an antioxidant its many effects can be attributed to its content of polysaccharides and flavonoids So in this recipe, we need four sticks of astragalus. It smells quite interesting. There's one. Here's another. First ingredient, stragglets. And our next ingredient is codonops. is known as the poor man's ginseng. In Chinese, it is dan sheng, or dan sheng, I think. <laughs> my Chinese is not that good, so I'm just trying my best. <laughs> um, it has many similar properties to the more well-known Siberian ginseng. I've actually had this codonopsis in my house for the longest time, and I'm not really sure where we got it, I think. So 
some family members or friends. Got Ooh, that? some family members or friends got it for us. And now I finally know how I can use it. So Codenopsis contains phytosterols and triterpenes, which have been shown to exert an immunomodulatory effect. It has been used effectively in tonic formulas for weakness, nervous exhaustion, and convalescence from disease. <coughs> Sorry. So we need three sticks about 10 centimeters long. So I would say that's about 10 centimeters. Maybe it's not really small, so like that. <laughs> well, this is my first time making it, so I'm not. So yeah. Our next ingredient is ginger, and we only need about a tablespoon of it, so I've just got some ginger here. Ginger is one of those things that we've been using in my family for a really long time, and whenever we would get sick, the first thing my mom would do is just cut up ginger and place it in a pot of water and boil it and then just simmer it for a long time and it will just make ginger tea for us and so it's definitely something that's helped us through a lot of rough times so our next ingredient is Chinese wild So, in Mandarin, Chinese bald yam is known as shenyao, and for our recipe, we need two sticks of about five centimeters long. So I feel like that would be perfect. I mean, comparing to this guy, it's exactly, it's pretty much half of it, isn't it? So, the Chinese wild yam is great for tonifying the lungs qi, and it tonifies the spleen, helps with functioning. It also helps to turn via the kidney in. So, chronic coughs like I have right now <laughs> tends to be a lot better with the Chinese yam. I'm just gonna put that right here. Okay. Now, I have one more Chinese medicine ingredient.
So these are known as goji berries. And in Chinese, it is go, go qi zi, I think. <laughs> so it kind of translates to wolf berries. Now, the goji berries are incredibly powerful. They help to nourish and tonify the liver and the kidneys. They're also great for improving vision and it's also very sweet and delicious. And it smells really good. So for our recipe we're going to need three tablespoons of the goji berries. So I'm actually just going to do that um, These are clothes. Just so aromatic. 
she... I believe these charges. I don't think I'm gonna bother to take all the goji berries out because honestly, they're definitely for a little later because the bok choy tends to cook a lot faster than the other vegetables. I'm just going to cover the vegetables for a little while. I'm just going to turn up the, uh, the heat a little bit. So I'm just going to be tasting this. So it definitely needs quite a bit more salt. I added about two tablespoons earlier and um, I do think it needs quite a bit more. favorite bowl. It's a Japanese. Um, I used it earlier so it doesn't, it's not clean, um, but it has these beautiful cherry blossoms it looks like. It's going to be adding some of the soup here and I'm going to be drinking this throughout the as well as my sisters because we're all kind of feeling this cold um, coming on so here is the final product the change of season soup um, that features a bunch of traditional Chinese medicine herbs and I can't wait to 
to devour this and hopefully it's going to help me um, kick this cold away and really prepare my immune system for the rest of the season. I do hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment um, down below what you liked, what I can approve on, and what other kinds of videos um, you'd like me to post. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day or a great night, depending on what time it is for you. I love you all so much and take care. Bye.